Welcome to a sold-out Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Diami Krakens. You know they're named after a monster sea creature, so the fans are called Finns. That's because they're trying to keep the team afloat, Grim. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Orcs of Hazard battle. The Diami Krakens. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm doing that little hottie who works at Deep Fry at the concessions. He said, how not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. Nice pickup for six yards. First and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Fighting for every yard. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first.
first and ten. That quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Hey, that defender just got... And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. Blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon. He could go all the way. The 10. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First down and one. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He just got crushed. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Second down and long. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and eight. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And this game is up for grabs. Second down and two. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done.
First and four. The offense is pretty much unstoppable. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. My cellmate in prison did a dance like this my first night in the big house. It was trouble then, and it's trouble now. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down and, well, good luck. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. The return man catches the... Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off-season. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down and three. First down. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. First and ten. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner.
And it's first and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Six-yard gain there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Second down and a line. And the defense jumps up sides. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Hot one, hot 
two. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. He heard footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? quarter we are all tied up and set to kick off the second half uh, speaking of all tied up grim how many of them elephant lags in a pill did i take uh, i feel like i'm sitting on not vesuvial right now oh one false move and i'm gonna blow <laughs> here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the Grim. Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a... He refuses to go to... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Oh, uh, and the defense jumps outside. And if he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. Uh, what the fuck, 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 fuck? This 
The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the fuel expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. That one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his team. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Running for a couple of yards. Third and four. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to... Oh, he just got eaten. That reminds me of that, that song by the mutant men. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. First and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And that's just a great run for a touchdown. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this, or they're gonna lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Brad. These guys are doing fine by themselves. I don't know if we can have it. This is a first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. First and ten. And he gets.
gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second down in a very lot. Third down and long. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Dunya, was that you? Hey, follow me. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Well, looks like extra crispy. And that's a nice run for a first down. First and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. And that player just transformed into a four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy what you're after third and two defense was there but he still picked up a yard somehow any field goals over 40 yards are difficult he's gonna really have to boom this one First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. When the 
defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But that fudge ice cream sandwiches, they didn't taste so good. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. Well, just when I thought only noobs would go for it on fourth for no real reason, they convert. But did they just get really lucky? Stay tuned. And it's first and ten. Top for the first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. catch chipping away with those medium passes i like it like a patient the offense calls a timeout this is why you save your timeouts you can use them in the two minute warning now i get it makes sense grin second down and two just follow the bloody footprints to the new line that's a first down They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. He goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes 
makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defense. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least... The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He had it for a second there. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And it's first and ten. And he throws that one to the sidelines. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Steal. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. The Krakens deliver the victory to their home team fans. There's going to be one heck of a party on the South Beach Canal tonight. It was quite a nail biter today. They came up big with a one point win to seal the victory. Who wants wings? I do. Make them extra spicy. I like it when they come out hotter than when they go in. I'm buying. Let's listen to the MVP. Maybe he wants some wings too. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.